Hello, everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Sorry about the delay in videos, guys. We was we've been super swamped. Been having trouble with my camera. I think I got some epoxy up there on the on the button, and then run for a little bit and shut off. Run for a little bit and shut off. And I tried to fix it and try. And we've been so busy that uh, I uh, finally got it working again. But we've got a lot of stuff done. I got all my parts laid up. Now there's my top and there's my bottom. I have my bottom glued on there. And if you notice, I didn't put my balsa on the bottom. Uh, we had so much stuff spread out. And I didn't have no places to glue them sheetings together. And it's all warped. I finally got some bad balsa or what. But it just, uh, I decided not to do it. You know, there's not that big an area to be too floppy here. And uh, in the back also. Then I'll probably go ahead and glue some on my gear doors, but I want that little flange on them. So uh, I decided just not to mess with it. And plus, uh, back here is my bomb bay, and half of it would have had balsa on it, and half of it wouldn't. And I just decided not to mess with it. But I got both my hat back half pieces done. There's one, there's the other one, there's the back half bottom. Got all them done out of carbon. And the rest of this I just use, uh, this is three layers of fiberglass. Just my same old clear resin I've been using all along. Then when, where I'm going to mount my nacelles, I, I carboned up. And uh, that's got like two layers in it. Then I got two layers of carbon going across that way. And three layers of fiberglass. That ought to be pretty, uh, pretty stout. And I put my wood on the inside. And then I uh, got some uh, little L brackets out here, and then JB welded the whole thing together. And uh, that'll be pretty stout. And uh, I got on this here, I got two layers of carbon fiber, and then three layers of fiberglass. And uh, that's going to be pretty stout, too. Then in the morning, we're going to put this wood on this edge. It, uh, glue the top on. I, want, I know y'all was wondering how we're going to do this. I will make some movies on this. But remember back when I did my nose piece? I got that all laid up too. Them two's laid up, ready to glue together. But I put them flanges on that nose. Well, just on the ends on the bottom, I'm going to put two flanges down there. I'm going to put a flange there. And I'm going to put a flange here. Okay, then I'm going to do put, put my center on first. Then we'll be able to take my one inch fiberglass tape and reach right in here and do that seam. This seam will be easy, okay. Then I'm going to put my bulkhead in that piece. And then I'll be able to go through the bottom and tape that seam. Now I'm going to be able to tape that seam right up. But this piece back here, I've been talking to Butch, and uh, I just ain't going to be able to get in there to do that. So on the back of this bulkhead, I'm just going to leave it like it is, and after we pop it out of the mold, I can cut that end off and get in there and tape it, put a little flange on it, glue it back on. Okay, then I'll get my two bottom ones on. Then I will have my mold turned upside down. Okay, then I can come in here. And when them two are already bolted together with my uh, bulkhead inside, I can bolt it up to that piece. I can get right to it and get that big seam. Okay. Then I put my bottom on, and I already and I got the, I'll have that flange glued on there, so I won't have to reach in there and do that one. I'll just have to reach in and do the sides. But we'll set up the tripod and uh, show you how we do that. It ain't as bad as it sounds. Uh, that's the easiest part of this project is gluing these two pieces together and uh, we're going to have it all glued together tomorrow and Wednesday have it ready to pop out of the mold and uh, it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome but we got all that glued in there and it fit just like a glove and uh, just perfect fit I got to do a little bit of grinding we set that top piece on it earlier and there's just a uh, couple little high spots, a little one there, that one there has got to come out, but I got the dot co 
with one of them round files on it and uh, that'll come right down I got my gas tank I got the last layer of carbon on my gas tank and this is where I'm going to drill my hole for my clunk so I put an extra couple layers of carbon there to build that up so I can get some thickness when I drill my holes I'll uh, have a nice thick so my stopper will work nice in there but I'm going to get that trimmed tonight and uh, get my hole cut in it pour me some lacquer thinner in there and uh, to see if I have to cut it apart we'll just see I'm probably going to have to but then I'll cut it apart and get that taped together tonight so I can get it installed in the morning and uh, cuz I can't put this I can't start till that gas tank's done that gas tank's got to go over right there but uh we're trucking on man I've had old Chuck over here and dad and we just been we've been going and I want to tell you guys something this has been a chore you know I couldn't have did it without dad and Chuck and uh, they've really been a big help but man we had just been going like madmen on all these parts so I got all these these are my nose pieces and my tail pieces I got all them laid up shops a mess and we've been going and I uh, apologize about the videos but uh, we'll keep them rolling and uh, we'll show you how we tape this together you guys seen me lay up glass before and uh, we showed you how the backing bag now I'm going to show you how to glue the tape these together and then we're going to pop this mold apart on live YouTube let y'all watch and we're going to have a B1 bomber sitting here. It's been a long road, a long hard road. But uh finally got all my pieces. It's happening. Thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for bearing with me and not sending the lynch mob after me. I've just been busy. But uh stay tuned everybody. Thanks to all you guys watching all over the world. You guys keep me going, and uh, I'm going to make this happen for everybody. So, until tomorrow, we will see you in the shop.